Hi guys, it's September 4th, 2011, and as you may have seen, uh, we did a, a video yesterday quickly on the electromagnetic pulse tester that I purchased a few weeks back. And as you saw, we did a test on the microwave oven and also one on the TV. And uh, obviously, the microwave oven was quite interesting because we got some very, very high unsafe readings from that. So after that video went up, uh, I did receive an email from Della there uh, saying can we do one on uh, mobile phones. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is the, um, the um, EMF tester. And as you can see, you know, you can use it on uh, basically everything, household goods, uh, power lines. Come to three settings, this will be set on uh, 200 uh, milligauss uh, when we do this test shortly. And the uh, electromagnetic field radiation tester, EMF AT3. And like I said, if you want to purchase these, um, obviously the cost will change a little bit, but roughly um, about $100 uh, here in Australia to buy. So um, I reckon it's a great unit. Uh, as I said in the other video, um, you can do your own tests and um, by changing your room around a little bit, uh, you can actually reduce the uh, elect electromagnetic field uh, within that room. So now we've got a couple of phones here, um, three in fact. So we'll be using uh, the BlackBerry phone, which is uh, which is my phone. So we'll be doing a test on that. Uh, the other one is uh, a Vodafone. So that's my son's. So we can do a test on that one. And the uh, the last one that we're going to do is it's on a LG is that one there and also um, just got to remember that uh, different brands different models uh, will produce um, uh, different readings all right so some are going to be a little bit stronger uh, and some are going to be a little bit weaker into the regarding the electromagnetic field so we'll get right into this and uh, see what kind of readings we get Okay, so here we go. Uh, first off, using the BlackBerry phone. Again, uh, I'm not endorsing any of these uh, brand names, so uh, please go use your own discretion when buying uh, your mobile phones. So, 0.36 was the highest reading. And as you can see, it drops down to roughly uh, 0 0.02, uh, which is the safe level. Uh, anything 0 0.20 is the unsafe level. So that's looking, uh, well, I'm actually uh, quite happy with that reading so here we have the uh, the Samsung so again we just make sure this is uh, back to zero or 0 0.1 the reason it's showing that it's the uh, elect electromagnetic field uh, within the room So that was quite interesting, the highest reading there was 1.25 on the Samsung. Okay, with a minimum reading of uh, 0.03. So, uh, Quite a bit of difference between that and the uh, the BlackBerry, and like I said, it's not the name brands, but it's it's basically the components with inside uh, uh, 
uh, the phones itself uh, do vary quite a bit. Let's look at the Samsung one more time. We also <coughs> have to take into account too that the uh, electromagnetic um, pulse or frequencies uh, constantly will be uh, moving around depending on where you are. So if you're next to a, um, a phone tower, this was obviously will change quite dramatically once again. Next up is the the LG. And as you can see the LG is actually quite steady, there's actually no Although we are, we did have a point zero two. So um, again, that one's uh, within the safe limits. So uh, very happy with the uh, with the reading on this one, and uh, also the BlackBerry. So one more time we just bring up this uh, Samsung and uh, as you saw there we did have a, a 0.36 with the lowest rating of 0.02 Alright so this phone will ring shortly and we'll see what kind of reading we get from this so There we are So point zero five, possibly about a point nine. So pretty much within the safe range. I'm uh, very happy back considering it's my phone. Okay, so we'll try the next one. Okay, so we've got my son's phone. This is the Vodafone. There we are, 126, which is uh, over the safe level, 7.33. Yeah, so zero point three three was the highest level, and the safe level is zero point two zero. So, like I said, this was the uh, we had the highest reading on this one. Um, before as you saw and even still now we're fluctuating between uh, 0 0.14 0 0.13 so very high reading on this one okay so from that the LG and uh, the Blackberry uh, basically gave us uh, the best reading the best safety reading um, uh, out of this test, obviously the my son's Vodafone gave us the highest reading um, just when it switched on and also when it actually received the call um, above uh, 0.33 so overall uh, again also you've got to remember that if you're next to a um, mobile tower that would definitely increase the electromagnetic pulse coming into your phone and also around you which is going to have a vast effect if you're going to be there for very long periods. So my advice would be, uh, when using a mobile phone, is um, if you have got it, on, depending on how old your phone is, is use your speakerphone. Speakerphone with a bit is the best way, uh, well, it's one of the safest ways to, to use your phone, at least that way you're not putting it next to your ear. Um, and uh, hopefully, again, that will reduce the effects of an electromagnetic pulse. So, hope you enjoyed that. 
Um, again, different brands, different models. They can all have different ratings, as we saw by uh, this demonstration. Um, but overall, uh, try not to use them as much. Uh, you know, if you can use a house phone, use a house phone instead of using your mobile. Um, text, another way. Um, if you uh, try to get away from having the, the phone next to your ear, text. And if you can, use your speakerphone. Um, that's my advice, that's my opinion. Um, but at the same time, uh, as you saw in the last video, there's plenty of information out there, plenty of scientific data showing that it can cause cancer, cancer sorry, um, if you use your phone uh, quite a lot, and a lot of us do. So thanks again, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you soon.